A re-examination of DNA of a 26,000-year-old human fossil discovered in Portugal in 1998 is shaking up the world of paleoanthropology. The groundbreaking discovery challenges long-held assumptions, prompting a re-evaluation of our understanding of early human history. Ancient Origins, March 2025 were Neanderthals alive and still interbreeding with their human cousins as recently as 26,000 BC? Bem-vindo a todos. Falo português. Já visitei Portugal muitas vezes. Cidade de Lisboa. Falamos um pouco de português neste vídeo. Muito obrigado por tudo. Vamos! The Lepedo child was buried in a shallow ditch covered with rocks near a partial cave shelter called Lagar Velo. No centro de Portugal. Smithsonian. In 1998, archaeologists discovered the skeletal remains of a child no vale do Lepedo, Portugal. Continuing. When the team took a closer look at the ochre-stained bones, they were surprised to find that the Lapedal child had a mix of both Neanderthal and human features. The skeleton and cranium fragments were discovered by João Mauricio and Pedro Soto during their exploration of Lagar Velo. During the excavations, equipment accidentally struck the cranium, resulting in significant damage. It remains unclear whether the incident was due to the archaeologists or workers involved in the excavation team. ScienceAlerts.com reports, after four failed attempts, scientists have at last dated the skeleton of a possible human Neanderthal hybrid found in Portugal more than two decades ago. March 2025, direct hydroxyproline radiocarbon dating of the Lapedo child. In memoriam, co-author Eric Trinkos. Abstract, the new HYP radiocarbon date for the Lapedo child is 27.8 thousand years ago. It is consistent with the original estimate of the timing of the burial event. Continuing, the Lapedo child revealed a morphological mosaic of anatomically modern human and Neanderthal features evidencing a shared ancestry. The new HYP radiocarbon dates for the Lepedo child are 27.8 to 28.5 thousand years ago. This is consistent with the original estimates of the team who discovered Lepedo. Parabéns ao líder da equipe Ela certo completamente. Ritual Practices of the Upper Paleolithic Additionally, the authors shed light on the cultural and ceremonial significance of the Lepedo Boy burial. They describe Upper Paleolithic Gravatian ritual practices and burial customs and establish a link to the previous Cro-Magnon. From the paper, continuing, the variation in mortuary, ritual, and personal ornamentation permits inferences regarding language or ethnicity. Continuing, consistent with personal ornamentation of the bodies, namely with regard to the practice of headdressing using marine shell beads. Please see our related video on this channel on the Shanandar Neanderthals. Mixed Child Popsci.com, March 2025 The Lepedo Child is one of the most provocative prehistoric human skeletons ever discovered. But the Lepedo Child's age made direct interbreeding hard to believe for some paleoarchaeologists. Smithsonian, the idea that humans and Neanderthals had hybridized was not mainstream. 
the Neanderthal genome wasn't sequenced until more than a decade later, revealing how modern humans have Neanderthal DNA. Hardin out of Africa proponents took the view of full replacement, that there was no admixing with Neanderthals for incoming Homo sapiens. AP March 2025, humans and Neanderthals mating and mixing that was a radical notion at the time, but advances in genetics have since proven those populations existed, and people today still carry Neanderthal DNA. Chris Stringer took a more moderate approach, believing that some mixing could have occurred, but that it was isolated and left no lasting impression on the modern human gene pool. Of course, Stringer was forced to revise his remarks later when Swante Pabo and his team confirmed Neanderthal DNA. A draft sequence of the Neanderthal genome, 2010. Stringer proved to be a good sport on that. He now often chuckles in lectures and interviews, quote unquote, well, I got that one wrong. But other out of Africanists, Till this day have not admitted to their mistake. During this time, there were a few voices in the wilderness, maverick anthropologists who claimed that the evidence hinted at Neanderthal and Homo sapien introgression. Professor Eric Trinkos, considered one of the world's most influential scholars of Neanderthal evolution, was a vocal proponent in the early 2000s of the idea that Neanderthals contributed to the gene pool of modern humans. Alan Templeton, a geneticist also at Washington University in St. Louis, used statistical methods to challenge the strict out-of-Africa model, suggesting that there was genetic exchange between archaic and modern human populations. Michael Hammer, a geneticist from Arizona State University, conducted two studies in the early 2000s suggesting that modern humans interbred with archaic hominins, including Neanderthals. Neanderthal Traits in Modern Humans The handful of anthropologists who argued for admixture from Neanderthals took that stance largely based on the morphology of the Lepedo boy. For example, the boy had Neanderthal-like shorter lower limbs and a prominent brow ridge. Archaeologymag.com, the anatomical features, a blend of Neanderthal stockiness and modern human traits such as a prominent chin, quickly ignited discussions about interbreeding between these two human lineages. Science Alert! Years before scientists sequenced the full Neanderthal genome, this skeleton, the Lepedo boy, was the one big clue we had that our ancestors were mating and mixing with their closest human relatives. Continuing, for more than 10,000 years, outward Neanderthal features persisted in the human lineage. Latent genes? Science alert continuing. Lepedo shows how strong the influx of Neanderthal genes into the human lineage might have been. Paper 1990, Moody Bastin, Genetics Journal, The Evolution of Latent Genes. We define latent genes as phenotypically silent DNA sequences which may be reactivated by various genetic mechanisms. Archaeologymag.com If the Lepedo child, a hybrid individual, lived around 28,000 years ago, then questions arise as to whether genetic exchanges lasted longer than previously thought or whether hybrid traits appeared in later generations. Hybrid traits appearing in later generations. Nathan Faldi, Ancient Origins, March 2025. If the Lepedo child, a hybrid individual, lived around 28,000 years ago, then questions arise, did the hybrid traits appear in later generations? 
popping up out of the human gene pool randomly from time to time? Continuing, the answer to this question is unclear at the moment, but it is not as far-fetched as it might sound, given the unusual traits this child possessed. The Enduring Neanderthals, Survival Beyond Expectations. Clive Finlayson is the leading expert on the Gibraltar Neanderthals, previously believed to be the last remaining Neanderthal tribe. For reference, Gibraltar is the British enclave on the southern tip of Spain. Finlayson, a close friend of John Hawks and Chris Stringer, has hosted conferences in Gibraltar that bring together his friends and other leading Neanderthal experts, fostering collaboration and advancing the field. In his book, Neanderthals and Modern Humans, Finlayson explores the hypothesis that environmental and ecological factors might have enabled small Neanderthal populations to persist until as late as 20,000 years ago or beyond. The recent radiocarbon analysis dating of the Lepedo boy, placing him between 27,000 and 28,000 years ago, lends weight to Finlayson's hypothesis about Neanderthals surviving in isolated pockets. New Neanderthal discovery in France. Bienvenue à tous les personnes, je suis ravi vers votre connaissance. Nous parlons un peu de français dans cette vidéo, allons-y encore. Professor Ludovic Slimax, remarkable discovery of a previously unknown Neanderthal subspecies named Thorin, further supports Finlayson's hypothesis about the survival of isolated Neanderthal populations. J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit. Smithsonian, nicknamed Thorin after a dwarf character from J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbit. The 2023 paper authored by Slimak in collaboration with his wife, professional archer and researcher Laura Metz, along with other esteemed colleagues, unveiled groundbreaking conclusions that challenge previous assumptions. Long genetic and social isolation in Neanderthals. Thorin is not directly related to other Neanderthal subspecies, such as Mesmaskaya and Vindija further to the east. Smithsonian. A new analysis of Thorin's ancient DNA suggests he belonged to a previously unknown lineage of Neanderthals that was isolated for 50,000 years, a small group who lived between 42,000 and 50,000 years ago. And another surprising find. Slimax paper. Thorin was most closely related to the Forbes Quarry individual from Gibraltar. Lepedo boy, Thorin, and Gibraltar Neanderthal. Could the Lepedo boy belong to the same Neanderthal subclade as those found in Gibraltar and Krothmandrin? C'est une grande possibilité, no? Cultural link among Southern European Neanderthals. The Gibraltar Neanderthals, as Finlayson and others have suggested, likely led a very aquatic lifestyle. Similarly, Thorin of Grothmandrin has been referred to by Slimak as the Mediterranean Neanderthal. Ruth Schuster, Haaretz, 2020. The aquatic Neanderthal. They could swim and die for clams. Over 100,000 years ago, 
Neanderthals would winter in a cave by the seaside and dive as much as four meters deep to collect shells. Neanderthal hybrids surviving to modern times. Famed geneticist David Reich recently stated in an interview here at YouTube that the real percentage of Neanderthal genes in modern Europeans is 20%, not the 2 to 4% as originally believed. Previously, geneticist Spencer Wells, a former student of Luca Cavalli Sforza, suggested Neanderthal admixture in modern Europeans was roughly 5%. The Oase Uno Homo sapiens specimen in Romania dated 39,000 years ago had as much as 7.3% Neanderthal DNA. The famous 5,000 year old mummy from the Italian Alps, Otzi the Iceman, could have as much as 6% Neanderthal DNA. Hawks 2012 Otzi would have around 5.5% substantially greater sharing with Neanderthals than any other recent person we have ever examined. Note, the reference to Otzi's 5.5% Neanderthal DNA has been deleted from Hawks' blog. Conrad Losi of the University of Edinburgh believes Neanderthal admixture to be on the upper end, perhaps as high as 7%. In summary, leading geneticists and anthropologists estimate that Neanderthal DNA admixture in modern Europeans ranges between 2% and 20%. And now, thanks to the daring vision of a group of geneticists from the UK and Portugal, we hold compelling evidence that hybridization thrived far later than anyone dare to imagine. Oxford Dictionary Hybrid A plant or animal that has been produced from two different types of plant or animal especially to get better characteristics. Do Neanderthal hybrids still walk among us today? Homo sapiens Neanderthals. Thanks for watching, y'all. Hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. We'll see you soon.